Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another session of Empowering Morning Conversations. And just to remind everybody, and for those who don't know, the purpose of the Empowering Morning Conversations is to allow us to be positive in the face of all the negativity that surrounds us. The purpose of the morning conversation is to shift out from our auto mode, the default mode, where we are usually complaining, blaming, resisting, reacting, and generally making our life unnecessarily difficult for ourselves. So one of the things I'm very fond of saying, and I'll say it again, is that it looks like that some people are always looking for reasons why to be unhappy. So in the EMC, the Empowering Morning Conversations, all of us are looking for reasons to be happy. And even more than that, instead of looking for reasons, we are creating a life where we can have ease, joy, joy and glory. glory. All right? So all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory is what we believe in. And we are doing with everything that doesn't allow that to happen. Anything that comes in the way of our having a life of ease, joy, and glory. And after all, what is it that we want? Everybody wants that, right? Ease, joy, and glory. So why is it that our attention gets stuck to things that make us uneasy? Why is it that our attention gets stuck to things that make us unhappy? And why does our attention stick to things that make us, you know, right? So our attention gets stuck on things that make us lose sight of the immense possibilities that are available in our life. Okay. So what do we do here? We have me poking you with all sorts of questions. And sometimes Rama does that. Sometimes Kunen does that. Sometimes Vitriwell does that. we have questions, we have exercises. And these are energetic exercises which allow us to go beyond the mind, body, and emotions. See, I spent about 30 years working with people's mind, bodies, and emotions. And then I discovered this fantastic world of energetics. But it's only five, six years back, I seriously started working on this area. So a lot of stuff that we do is in the area of energy. So what you did yesterday was in the area of energy. So while we are waiting for any people who may want to join us later, let's start with a little exercise. This is one of the most simple exercises and I'll tell you why we would do it. For the very simple reason, that we have the ability to create whatever feelings we want so that we can give our 100% in life. As human beings, we are influenced by our feelings, isn't it? So feelings significantly impact our actions. And who's influencing our feelings usually? The world is. The circumstances are influencing our feelings. So we say, why should I allow circumstances to control my feelings? So we do something called generating our own feelings. By the way, you can generate whatever feeling you want. If you need to generate anger in some situation, please do so. And if you are a poet and you have to write a sad song, generate unhappiness if you want to. But I think the best way to start a day is by generating happiness, don't you think? So when I say one, two, three, we will all generate 100% laughter without making a sound. So one, two, three, go!
So we don't have to watch the Kapil Sharma show to laugh, you know, we can generate it whenever we want. So the next question is, when I'm able to generate the feeling that I want, <clears throat> what will I do with it? So listen to this very carefully. When I generate the feeling that I want, what will I do with it? So I ask enough people, well, what do you want? They'll say, I want money. Okay, so what will happen if you have money? I'll be happy. Oh, very good. So we are generating happiness without money also. To ask somebody, what do you want? He says, I want great relationships. I said, so what will happen when you have great relationship? I'll be very happy. Oh, okay. When you have great relationships, you'll be happy. So what are you feeling right now? I'm feeling miserable. I'm feeling angry. I'm feeling upset. So what is that fellow bringing to that relationship? Anger, upset. And what if he was to bring happiness to that relationship? No, we want to do something in order to achieve happiness. Okay. So I'm saying that whatever you want to do, if you do it by bringing your happiness to it, then what will become possible in our life? Then right? instead of saying, if I have a great relationship, I will be happy. And I say, I will bring my happiness to the relationship. What will happen to the relationship then? When I bring my happiness to the relationship, when I bring my happiness to my job, when I bring my happiness to every interaction, when I bring my happiness to every experience, all of life will come to me with ease, joy and glory. So instead of doing that, what are we doing? Usually reacting, consciously or unconsciously reacting. What else are we doing? Resisting, judging. Right? Yeah, so judging is happening even before that. Yeah. That is why we react, I guess. So automatically we judge and then we react in a certain manner. And who's the culprit in this? Our brain number two, the conditioned brain, the reactive brain. And when this reactive brain is operating and the midbrain is operating, which brain of yours is not operating? The frontal cortex, the most potent part of your brain, which allows you to see possibilities, which allows you to create things. Yeah, and this frontal cortex has got no problem dealing with uncertainty because it knows no fear. Like a little child knows no fear until we teach him that there's something called fear. And for his protection, he's got intuitive knowledge. Like when I asked a fourth class, you know, they were jumping from the steps in our house and they would always jump from step number four. So I said, why don't you jump from step number one? He says, uncle, maza nahi aega. That's why we are jumping from step number four. I said, why are you not jumping from step number eight? Jada maza aega. He says, uncle, pagalo, mera tank tut jayega. So even the child knows that if you do something which keeps you in your, uh, what do you call it, comfort zone, There'll be no joy, there'll be no satisfaction, there'll be no excitement, right? And if you overstretch yourself also by taking an absurd risk, even the small child knows that. So why do you think I'm telling you this? Ta -dang, ta -dang. Now this is the time you use your brains and talk. Jago Sunivalu 
because we, you want us to live in creative mode. And oh. don't look for happiness. Be happy with what whatever you do. Yeah, generate happiness and bring it to whatever you do. Yeah. Okay. So that's one answer. Let's hear the other people's answers also. Thank you, Reddy Garu. Nice to see you. If you want to be rich, pretend as you are already rich. Bring richness and abundance. In abundance. How many times, you know, you tell somebody and you say, no, but I don't have money. So I, no, I don't. never say like, I don't have money. Say, I do not want to spend it. That's the truth. You have money. How many negative statements we make about money, you won't even realize it, you know? I, I do attend one uh, Vedatri Maharishi session. From that day onwards, whoever I meet, whoever I felt, I'm usually saying as Varga Valamudan means live ever with prosperity. Live ever with prosperity. That is every time whenever I feel or uh, anxious, any any time, even to others, when people come in to my house, even when they go out, I'm saying the same. That is live ever with prosperity. Beautiful. So creating the positiveness wherever I am. Beautiful, beautiful. That's called bringing prosperity to wherever you go. So what is prosperity? A lot of people, I ask them this question, we get some very interesting answers. Yeah, so Malika, you said others answer. Everything. Abundantly, you are getting in health, wealth, everything. You are in abundance. That's what is the prosperity. You live with health and wealth in abundance. All right. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Now let other people answer this question also. What is prosperity for you? So Malika ji has given very profound answer. If you get it, you will always be happy in life. You know, if you get what she's saying, not understand what she's saying, but get it internally. But what is prosperity anyway? So are you guys shy to speak or something? Okay, very well. I am going to say bye-bye and leave. You guys carry on the session, then maybe they'll answer the question. Sir, not like that, sir. The question yeah, is so deep. So everybody is thinking deeply. That time is the thinking time. Now see the hands are raised. We oh. so many things. Yes, need to be. <laughs> sir, I think prosperity for me would is um, living in abundance of possibilities and making it happen. Okay, so if I ask you this question, do you have prosperity in your life now? What will you say? Sir, the process has begun. All right, very nice. So, uh, good morning, Mr. Sai Nathan, my fellow Rotarian from uh, Chennai. I had invited him to join us every morning, and he has. So, let's welcome him. Petrivel, please welcome Mr. Sai Nathan from Chennai. Give him a Tamil welcome. Right, so we started 7 a.m. Yeah, so he's quite an eminent and very old Rotarian from um, Chennai. So welcome, Mr. Sainatham. Would you like to briefly say something about yourself so that people know you? Yeah. Jonita is here. Wow. Yeah, sign up. You're muted, I think. You're not, I cannot hear you. I think you're that. Uh, can you hear me? Now we can. can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah, good morning, Rotarian Sukhdeep and uh, Mr. Uh, Vachividian. Uh, this is Sainadan uh, calling from Chennai. I happen to meet Mr. Mr. Uh, I mean, Rotain Sukhdev at Mumbai uh, Rotary meeting. Very pleasure to have uh, with meeting with such a people. I get positive uh, information from Mr. Sukhdev. 
the moment when i met him he was uh, very good inspirational for me uh, sir uh, what i mean abundance is uh, everything is available around us we are not uh, making the use of it in fact universe has given a lot of things for every person from any all the things whatever you want we can get it but we do we do many of them we don't know how to approach it even myself we don't know how to receive from the universe that's a basic problem with us so you mean wealth or health anything if you if you do it in a proper way you will get everything even uh, if you don't it you should not use the negative words normally you should be always positive things on things that's what i learned from my experiences in fact all right good day. great thank you so much and thank you thank you sir gautam and then leena ji after that what is prosperity for you yes sir. it is a upliftment of present status uh, in positive way uh, that is as prosperity somebody evaluated in money somebody no, sir, uh, four year old i don't understand what you are telling so can you tell me specifically the um, a, 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 present status for what it means so what uh, we are having this uh, uh, thinking or having the happiness or ha having the um, we are with the society you to improve our status to be uh, uh, positively developed that is prosperity yeah okay very good thank you very much and what about you leena ji so good morning everyone so i think uh, prosperity means there is no dearth of anything yeah that you are experiencing that there is no dearth of anything that means no shortage of anything that you have enough of everything yeah now how many people have you met that they have everything and still they do not have prosperity mentality they still have the poverty mentality yeah, yeah. many of them sir right so the poverty is the opposite of prosperity so what is pro prosperity opposite of poverty right and we have met enough people in our life that they have much more i mean they might have four cars and six wives i mean sorry one wife and <laughs> <laughs> two mansions and <laughs> blah 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 and yet they have poverty mentality right they go to any shop they will be arguing you know they will argue with the rickshaw wala the rickshaw wala ask him for 50 rupees he'll say 50 rupees is too much right and he look at the menu in a hotel and say oh this is too expensive just look at you know what we do which is so contrary to what we call as the prosperity mentality we say we are having prosperity mentality but when it comes to money and what we are doing with it and our relationship it is with it it's like a poverty mentality i have seen poor people who have got the prosperity mentality you know what we call as poor they may have very little but they don't have that i mean they are more willing to share whatever little they might have and this is both sir aur aa jayega so what i'm saying is if you bring happiness to what you're doing if you bring prosperity mentality to whatever you're doing do you think you'll have less or you'll have more yeah nina you want to say something we will have more you will have more na okay so what is prosperity so one is you can measure continuous growth in your abundance that is in your positiveness it could be a wealth it could be a health and it could be your effort it is continuous growth there is no stop it's a continuous growth okay Success. very nice Success. very nice thank you very much let's hear from some others also today we have the pleasure of having yonita back with us so how would you like to add to this what is prosperity according to you you are muted i think so she is still having problems with her voice okay <laughs> yeah. in the meantime who name nain se nain nain se nain mile thank you sir 
Uh, I was just thinking on this uh, prosperity. Normally, uh, I used to relate this uh, word with wealth and money. But uh, having uh, traveling with you this life's journey, I realized that uh, it's all about having a meaningful life where I can cherish that I have a good health. I have uh, enough time to spend with the people within my family or where to whomsoever I like. And uh, I use my gift, my talent, whatsoever God has given to me for the betterment uh, to this world, to, to make a difference in life of others or some better difference in this world. So that way I feel that uh, if I have this feeling, I, I can consider myself a prosperous person. And then I keep on growing to become even the better version of myself. Okay, very nice. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yeah. Can I? Uh, so we've done... KP and we've got uh, Reddy Garu in the queue. So after that, or can you want to speak right now? You can also. Is it okay, KP and Reddy Garu? If Ashok Ji, go ahead. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes. Yes. Abundance or prosperity is overflowing evidence of everything. It could be wealth, it could be feeling, it could be relation, it could be education, everything. And overflowing in such a way that you want to share it with everybody all the time. It, it need not be in one particular field. It could be physical, it could be giving something, something. But it is, you are always, your hands are open to give. They are, they are never in the shape to receive it. It is always in the shape of giving, giving it out. And it's not limited to only money or physical or this or that. It's, it's <laughs> a overflowing, uh, uh, I don't know, but it's, it's like you can say uh, waterfall, that it's, it's overflowing all the time everywhere. That is that is prosperity. All right, very nice. Thank you very much. And then we have uh, KP and then Reddy Garu. Reddy Garu, you're not in a hurry, no? Yes, KP. Good morning, sir. Good morning, everybody. So I feel prosperity is uh, having uh, enough and more health, wealth, and all the positive vibes. And you, at any point of time, you will be able to create the life for what you want. And and you can, you, you don't have to think, or do I have enough to give it to somebody, donate somebody. It may be in the Thanks life. Of what Ashok Ji just now said. This is what I think is, and health will then relationships also, sir. You have excellent relationship and you enjoy every moment with the people around you. Great. Wonderful. Thank you very much for sharing it. Yes. Reddy Garu? Sir, uh, for me, being in good health is prosperity, sir. Okay. Being in good health is prosperity. Okay. So here's something I want to tell you. See, most of us will say prosperity means I have this, I have this, I have this. Prosperity means I'm doing like this, I'm doing like this, I'm doing like this. Okay. So we are looking at evidence outside of us to say whether I'm prosperous or not. Do you get what I'm saying? If I have yes. this, if I have this, if I have this, abundance of wealth, abundance of wealth, then that is prosperity. So you have to have something in order to feel abundance, according to what I'm hearing. Only one person has said it differently, and you, I don't think you got what she said. Where is she? All the way from the US, she said something very Malika ji. Okay. So what is prosperity? And is it it will it will either be within you or it won't be? You understand? Like we are able to generate happiness. We did that, remember? And we can do it anytime we want. So then it is a way of being, right? Happiness is a way of being. In that case, then prosperity also is a way of being. If I'm being prosperous, okay, then everything occurs to me as a sign of prosperity. 
Now listen to me very carefully. If I'm being prosperous, then everything occurs to me as a sign of prosperity. And if I'm not being prosperous, everything is going to appear to me like there is some scarcity in my life. So we'll be like the people who are in the middle of the ocean, surrounded by water, and we'll say there is not enough water. But if we are being prosperous, you know, it's a way of being, like being happy will bring happiness to everything. Or you'll say, if I get this thing, I'll be happy. If I get this thing, I'll be happy. Okay. If I do this, I will be happy. If I do that, I'll be happy. It's different from I'm being happy because I'm being happy. So prosperity is a state of being. So here is a little clearing that we'll do. What energy, space, and consciousness will I be that would allow me to experience prosperity? And everything that is times a godzillion, will I destroy and uncreate it all? Yes? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So a way of being and bringing that being to this world of prosperity. And you start watching yourself to see what is it that you are doing that will not let prosperity be there? Or what is it that you are, you are doing that will not allow you to experience being prosperous? See, what is prosperity? Some people will say, oh, if I am like Ambani, then I'm prosperous. Okay, another person may say, I've got enough for my needs. I get enough for whatever I need, whenever I need it. I am prosperous. So a person who experiences or being, who experiences being prosperous, right, is going to see prosperity everywhere. And such a person might have a better chance of having a life that comes to him with ease, joy, and glory. You may find that such people are able to achieve much more with very less effort. You know, they're not struggling so much. Whereas you will have a lot of people, they have so much, they are struggling to keep it. You know, they have so much, they are struggling to maintain it. Or those who don't have it, they are struggling to get it. But they are struggling. I've seen so many of them. I've been one of them more than half of my life until I realized it's all in my head. Neeti Ji. Sir, uh, just to get a clearer understanding of uh, living in the uh, state of prosperity, uh, I'm talking about a hypothetical situation. If we are striving for something, somebody is striving to get a job or uh, whatever, uh, need not be, you know, a financial uh, fulfillment kind of a state. Uh, but nothing is happening when there's no activity, there are no calls, there are no interviews, there are no uh, appropriate job openings coming uh, my way. And, you know, it's like a static situation. In that state, just having that positive belief and uh, trying to remain in that uh, positive, happy, prosperity kind of a mental state would be enough or there's something more that the person can do? The moment you say trying to remain in the state of prosperity, mm -hmm. if you are just in allowance, hmm. yeah? now when does allowance happen when you stop judging, right? Yes. So if allowance is there, I have prosperity in my life and this target is not getting fulfilled right now. It will, when it will. Right? So it's not affecting me negatively. Remember, I always say every experience is an opportunity to become a better version of yourself. So here yeah. is an experience where things are not uh, moving the way you expect them to. Uh -huh. It happens to a lot of business people. You know, we are struggling like that. That day I was talking to sign up and business is not good. Property business is not good right now. Correct? Now, it is the way it is. If I'm in allowance of that, will I be troubled by it? Okay. But by being troubled by it, am I going to draw more prosperity to my life? 
right? So yes. if I am being prosperous, then I see signs of prosperity everywhere. For example, I am being prosperous and I say, all right, I've got, I've got this already. I've got a good house. I'm staying in a nice place. I've got good people surrounding me. Okay. I'm having enough money that I'm not staying on the road or anything. I eat well. I dress well. I got everything that I asked for. And here is the situation. And then I will simply without getting worked up, I'd say, okay, what else is possible? And how does it get better than this? Right. I'm not going to be sitting and thinking, Ki, oh, I'm going to get poor. If business doesn't come, how will I eat? Where is my next wheel going to come from? You notice those kind of thoughts start to come in when you start having this fear mentality or, you know, that there isn't enough and what the hell is going to happen and blah, blah, blah. It's a normal human tendency, you might say. That is why I call it the default mode. This so-called normal human tendency is getting into you know sadness and discouragement and fear and what is going to happen, apprehension, blah, blah, blah. If I'm in a state of prosperity, then I'll be singing songs like, right? Jo bhi pyaare se mila, hum si ke ho liye. Right, thank you. Yes, Sai Nathan, you wish to say something. So, uh, we should be open-minded, sir. We should not always uh, thinking of that, no, I don't have this, that and everything. Actually, as you said, no, the opportunity will come and, uh, at any point of time, any moment. Uh, it is up to you to grab it, in fact. You should try, when, whenever there is an opportunity you comes, you should try. You, you know, I'll tell you one very many think, of... excuse, Many people think that, no, I am not getting lucky. Lucky is not, lucky is nothing. In fact, there is an opportunity comes in everybody's life and every point of time. It is up to you to decide and grab it. That is the thing. That's what I read it in. I learned it in fact in my life. I'll give you, you an convert, example. You can convert the opportunity into a action and move it to the further thing. Okay. Now, I'll, what Mr. Sai Nathan said just now, I'm going to give you a practical example of that. Okay. When somebody is operating in poverty mentality or scarcity mentality, there is a lot of fear and judgment and suspicion, correct? Yes. And even if a good opportunity comes in your way, you might miss it because you're busy judging it and being fearful what is behind this. You know, so what happened a couple of days back, we have this physiotherapist who comes to do physiotherapy of my wife, all right, for her back problem. So now I have tied up with this healing center, which I was looking for where I can go and do my programs. And it's a very it's nice easy. deal that we have. So that <laughs> is one of the sisters who runs it, she's a physiotherapist. So she said, look, we've got so much of rush. We are looking for more physiotherapists. So if you know someone, you please connect with them. So I told this lady, okay, okay, why don't you get in touch with that person? She didn't even make a phone call. Can you beat it? I said, you talk to that lady and find out what they are offering. Hmm? So after three days, I said, why didn't you make that phone call? She says, my sister did not allow me. You tell me, here is a possible opportunity for you. And because you have a certain kind of mindset, you will not even make a phone call to find out what it is. You have a positive, uh, negative mindset. You're thinking, why Mr. Sukhdeepak is telling me to call that person? What he is getting out of it? What will I lose? Instead of saying, what can I gain by going there? So exactly what Mr. Sainathan is saying. If I am having this prosperity mentality, see, that will come easier. See, there are certain things we say here every day. So Sainathan Saab is new to us, so he doesn't know. One of the things we say, your biggest enemy is the tendency to judge yourself and to judge others and to judge situations. Judging, 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 judging. You know, so judging causes a lot of limitations in our life. Okay? If we are judging, would you be in a state of allowance? So I want, Vitrivel, you say something about this judging. 
Sir, can I say something? Oh, sorry. Go on. I feel if you are content, if you are contented in whatever situation you are, you are prosperous. In any situation, if you are contented, there's nothing else you want. Isn't that the answer for it? Yeah, content and contentment is contentment. And it's easier to, you know, be in a state of prosperity. It's kind of similar, but not the same. Haseena oh. ji, I would yes. have different words for it. Okay. But you're getting there. If I if I'm in a prosperity mentality, I'll be content with everything I have anyway. Okay. Because I'm saying I've got enough. Now, does it mean that you will not aspire for more? Does it mean you will not aspire for, you know, you can certainly desire more things. But you know, the best part is when you're operating from prosperity, fulfilling your desire seems to become easier than when you were having. Kept. So here's okay. something that you will have to discover. Right, right. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So the question to be with and what you need to watch out for. And by the way, I want to tell everybody that if you join the session on time, you're going to get much more than joining the session at 7.30 in the morning. Yeah? Sir, uh, like you asked, just a quick understanding of judgment from my side, sir. Yeah. Uh, it is seeing the things as it is, very simple. Opposite to judgment is seeing the things as it is without any putting coloring on it. Without any, like, it's just a point of view. Just a point of view and seeing the thing as it is. It is this one because the if we it. operate from a thought called world is always in favor of us and if all possibilities will pop up. But problem is we have our own internal uh, analytical brain which says that always focused on fear or other uh, lower emotions. So just throwing all the interpretation and judgment, seeing things as it is, is a prosperity. Thank you very much. Yep, very nice. Thank you very much. Konain, you wanted to say something? Yeah, for this uh, judgment in the simple word, uh, whenever I am in the mind state of uh, looking into something, whether it is uh, uh, better than something or less than something, or uh, inferior to me or superior to someone. So sort of comparison of uh, good, bad, or right, wrong. living in the duality kind of uh, approach. That's what is the judgment state, sir. Am I right? And it will never allow you to be in a state of prosperity. Being, you know, your state of being will be then judging. And you will always find something missing. I don't have this. When I have that, then I will be prosperous. I know a person who died and didn't even go to the hospital. Okay, there's this old story. When she died, they found four boxes of gold under her bed. I cannot afford to go to hospital. Yes, Mr. KP, go ahead. Is a couple of minutes. We are not able to hear clearly. Can you? Okay. Keep uh, it. Yeah. Oh, how is it, sir? Is it better? Or? Yeah, it is slightly better. Slightly better, yeah. No, as I, I want to share a few incidents when it is related to prosperity. I have come across a couple of uh, two, two sets of people, sir, in my life. One is so they have money. It's not that they don't have money, but they never spend. When, when you go with that, even if you go with them five times, even for coffee tea also they don't spend. So that much stingy. It's not that they don't have money. Uh, you, you start wondering what's happening to these people. So that is one mentality. I don't know whether you call it as the opposite of prosperity mentality. 
some of my uh, my own really long relatives they have lot of money they they get the rents in the maybe in 5 6 lakhs per month but they always no, they, they 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 keep saying oh i don't have money i don't have money to buy this i don't have money to buy that maybe they would have bought some other property they are paying for that maybe it is the no, 30th property or 40th property always no, <laughs> searching for money <laughs> So you should tell them this poem, you know, which I told many times. <clears throat> Work hard and save your money, so that when you are old, you can buy all the things which only young people can enjoy. So they are so busy saving money and holding money, they'll never get to enjoy their life, na? No? Right. Yeah. That's what I feel. Enjoy that, or no? Right. Maybe sir. they're enjoying doing like that. Who knows? Yeah, we don't know. Maybe that's how they enjoy. Yeah, like there might be some guy who just wants to look at his. You know, he goes into his uh, big. He's got this huge walk-in safe with full of gold and paper money and all that. He just goes there, looks at it, and feels happy. And he takes the paper and throws on his head and tastes it. How tasty money is! <laughs> But it's interesting. That's what many people do. you know they'll spend their whole life hoarding and hoarding and hoarding and then you are thinking that what do you what do you want to keep it for i mean for what are you keeping it for my future generation and then one day demonetization came and future generation got zilch there was one guy who was only keeping cash money nothing else i asked him why you are not keeping anything else no no i don't believe in these banks you know you can lose your money you know so better to keep it in my house you know so when the demonetization happened he almost committed suicide interesting isn't it the poverty mentality good example thank you so much thanks sir okay, guys so the question for the day before i leave you today is what energy and space and consciousness will i be that will allow me to experience the prosperity in my life i am asserting that we have already got lots of prosperity in our life but we are not allowing ourselves to enjoy it <clears throat> so what energy space and consciousness will i be that will allow me to enjoy the prosperity in my life what energy space and consciousness will i be that i will experience abundance in my life what energy space and consciousness will i be that i will be abundance and wherever i go abundance shows up around me how about that so anything anybody wants to say about that so uh, just a quick share something is uh, feel like saying and we say with the subject of uh, prosperity abundance i just visualize in such a way that there is a ocean or a big water tank and the small empty bottle is falling on it and the problem is the small empty bottle is closed tight closed and though it has got a full of water and the bottle has got a capacity to take water as because this top is closed it is not able to take water the only thing is as a human being towards growth is what we can do is we can just open that mouth the process happens automatically because you are inside the water and water goes inside fills you you become a water yeah but we have to allow ourselves to receive it no exactly exactly beautiful beautiful thank you very thank much you, thank you sir yeah i think pooja wanted to say something also yes a uh, uh, very good morning all good morning so uh, prosperity is uh, a mindset actually it's an experience basically uh so deepak sir uh, can you please uh, guide us towards receiving properly 
at times we are not able to receive yeah sure i'll do that you know how much of opportunities are there for you to receive and if you are regular on the emc we are removing your blocks to receiving okay yes. we are already doing that and there was a there is a program that you know all the people in the g2g are attending where we are doing that so yeah. there's a specific thing in the area of money and we offered it okay how many people took the offer to join the g2g after that two people so they say na you can take the horse to the water but you cannot make him drink got it sir thank you <laughs> but apna mind khul rakhna padega na yes okay anybody else sir uh, generally uh, this sinus and generally people are greedy and uh, having lot of fear what will happen if i lose this that and everything and all psychological myth and uh, fear is a uh, more than uh, living in the day to day life that's a basic problem with many of the people exactly. if i if i spend money what i'll get it I, if i give it to somebody what else that fellow will get it what what the benefit they are getting it they never think of what the other fellow who's referred you will get much more So why should we take this uh, person's reference or something? So you'll be much more, much more benefit somewhere, somewhere other way, rather than what we are getting it. That's a basic problem with many people in the things. And they're afraid also, like afraid to take any decisions. Also, decision making and the fear is the one which is killing for many people to take a go forward. In fact, that's what my observed in many of the areas. Thank you, sir. Welcome, welcome. Yes, uh, Malika ji wants to share something. Uh, thank you, thank you, sir. I want to share my experience ten uh, years before what happened. Uh, due to my family situation for my daughter's marriage, I came out of my job. By the time while I was in the job, I was earning a lakh in uh, IT industry. So. after i come out i have other kind of pleasures that is my daughter's marriage and immediately she got uh, in the she was into the family way so i have the duty of uh, supporting her so that was there but still after that after all those duties i i want to go back to my it industry whereas they i was been uh, into the place that is in from chennai to coimbatore there they told there is your over over uh, uh, this one that is uh, qualified so not possible here so i was pmp so no one else in that time in uh, coimbatore it industry they acquired pmp so i was been considered as uh, over qualified so i got very very frustrated because wherever i go i used to drive my car so like that uh, my the way of living was very luxurious the way i was living then uh, because i have strong mindset that i should not use my husband's uh, salary for my uh, luxury life only i have to earn so that is my mindset so i become very fed up with this that i didn't get any job after that after my daughter's uh, delivery then what happened i decide myself and went all my relations houses that is from coimbatore to nagarkovil kanyakumari district i visited all my relations houses i started att attending all the functions in my relations house there i have got one transformation that is they all living they all happily living their life without getting salary there is all the women i am telling her housewives they are all happily living and they are doing a different kinds of that is uh, cookings they are making and uh, they are expert than me handling their uh, family and handling their the whole whatever they are celebrating they are conducting marriage highly in the expert way the, actually i gave this uh, opportunity my, my daughter's marriage to someone else as a even management i gave but whereas i didn't contact directly but whereas they were doing happily with on their own then i understand that is i have other side of living that is i have 
other side of duties to my family i can do it differently so i have to create myself for being like that is being satisfactory life within me that is i should feel satisfied what whatever i am wherever i am so that way i started change myself started transform myself now i could feel the content what they feel so i i try to achieve to their level because that that time only i understand i was uh, uh, i was not to that content level now i am trying to achieve to that content level so that is my experience i can say that is we have another if one way is blocked that is one side is blocked then we have a lot other doors get opened and we have to grow there also there is not only one way to grow there is lot other ways to grow beautiful beautiful thank you so much for sharing it yeah thank you so much all right so before we close this session konen time for you to regale us with your shayari शुक्रिया जनाब कुलदीप सर शायद मौजूद नहीं है तो इसीलिए मैं आपको पहले बोल दिया तो मेरे जहन में जो एक शेर आ रहा है वो अर्ज किया जनाब के शिकवाए जुलमत शब से तो कहीं बेहतर था शिकवाए इज कंप्लेनिंग जुलमत शब इज ऑल द नेगेटिविटीज द डार्कनेस ऑफ द नाइट शिकवाए जुलमत शब से तो कहीं बेहतर था अपने हिस्से की क्षमा हम जलाते जाते सो इंस्टेड ऑफ क्राइंग कंप्लेनिंग एंड टेलिंग दैट ऑल दीज रीजन ऑफ माई फेलियोर एंड द डार्कनेस ऑफ द नाइट इट्स गुड एटलीस्ट डू योर ड्यूटी एंड लिट इट लिटिल लैम्प क्रिएट ए लिटिल brightness so that's the better approach so again shikwae zulmat e shab se to kahi behtar tha apne hisse ki shama jalate jate and then they would be like everywhere hmm very good very nice thank you thank you thank you thank you you know what we are some people might say we are very biased we are only listening to hindi urdu shayari so very well and company you got to make up by doing some tamil shayari <laughs> tomorrow onwards yeah why not and namalu konjam konjam tamil theriyum you and i will learn some more also from you okay yeah, all right right so wonderful morning and have a wonderful day and a wonderful week and remember all the members of the g2g please be there on time at 8:30 all right So I'll see you in the evening at eight thirty, ready to begin. And one more time, give it a shot of laughter before we leave. Kasha wants to say something when we say bye bye. Yes, Kasha. So a Tamil story about um, abundance. Ah, tell. Illai in the varthai in baaki illai. The word no is. is not there in my uh, speech that's all sir so say it again that's a one line shayari yeah yeah there is no no in my dictionary yeah there is no no there are two no's in that one sentence only yeah <laughs> But in Tamil, it is serip, serip. Means the, uh, prosperity means serip. Serip means it's uh, the valam serip. Bo- both are same meaning only. That is uh, everything is everything in and around of you is only success positive. Everything is positive. You feel content. That is you, you, uh, there is mindfulness in everything. there is you are being in the present wonderful positively, positively no negative at all that is positive wonderful wonderful, wonderful. thank Great. you so much sir. thank you thank you and see you all tomorrow morning ready to begin at 7 am sharp try to be there 5 minutes earlier it's always good we can have a little chit chat okay bye bye yes god bless bye. you
God bless everyone. Yes.